this is awesome. This turned out freaking sweet. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to JDF Outdoors. John here. In today's video, we're working on the jet boat trailer, specifically the wiring. I do have another wiring video on how to wire up a boat trailer, one that had previously had wires in it. Um, but that was a four pin. This is a seven pin, so that means it's got brakes. That's why I'm going to film this video on how to wire it up. But first, let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer and see what we're working with. So this is a brand new all aluminum trailer that I've been building. Um, for those of you just checking in on how to wire up a boat trailer, uh, this part doesn't necessarily pertain to you, but for those who follow me a lot, uh, the Dream Jet's gonna sit on this. So in the last video, I know I said I was going to wait to add some of the extra stuff like the fenders there and um, the supports going across for the bunks but i thought about it and i have to weld to the frame and the wires are running through the frame i don't want a chance melting it so i went ahead and put them on and the fenders i think turned out pretty sweet they also double as steps to get up into the boat this trailer has a 3,500 pound torsion axle with electric brakes on it. So, we're going to wire up a 7 pin with the control box on the front and it's going to have marker lights. I already went and drilled the holes. There's one there and there's a couple there and there's some more there. Come around to the back of the trailer. I left the back open for now to make it easier to pull wires through the frame. There is going to be a plate that gets riveted on right here and over for the rear tail lights to attach to. Then the wires will come out right there. So that is the plan. Let's check out the parts. So here's the assortment of parts that I'm going to be using and some tools to wire this trailer. Um, for starters, I got some rear tail lights. Those are waterproof submersible LED lights. I got some screws and a fish tape. Now this is going to aid in fishing all of your wires down the frame to where it needs to go. And then I picked up this uh, seven way plug with a junction box. And here's what the inside looks like. It's got all the wires and the bus bar. So you can hook up your corresponding lights to the corresponding lug and then go ahead and plug it in your truck or SUV. Um, this is a mic tuning brand right there. Picked it up on Amazon. Got some wire loom and assortment of wires in different colors and sizes. And these are going to be my little um, side marker lights. Well, these are the rear specifically. These ones are the sides. You need amber to the side and red to the rear. And then I have an assortment of heat shrink tube to go with the solder gun because I'm going to heat shrink and solder all of these connections so they are as watertight as possible. Uh, so different electrical connectors. Mostly out of here what I need is the, uh, the ring connectors so I can hook it up to the bus bar and then I got an assortment pack of uh, rubber grommets that way I can fill the holes and have uh, the wires protected so they're not rubbing on metal now where we're going to start off is we're going to take our junction box and mount it right there and then let's go ahead and open it up so we can see what we're working with on the inside All right, there is our bus bar with all the corresponding wires. And then on this side, we have um, little rubber grommets and the clamps to hold the wires tight once we get them all installed. Now, the next step is going to be is taking the fish tape. And I'm going to start the back of the trailer. 
and we're going to fish it all the way up to the front till it comes out of here so we can start pulling wires all the way through the frame. All right, so we got the fish tape through. Now we got to send back the appropriate wires for all, what we need. Now this is what is going to be considered the driver's side. Uh, so we have one tail light, which has three wires, one of which is a ground, and the other two, one is running, and one is turn signal and brake. So we need two wires for sure, to send back there. And then also on that same run, we're gonna need a brake control wire, which is the blue wire right here, that one. So we'll also send back the, br the blue brake wire. So for the two wires that we need for the rear lights, I'm gonna go ahead and use this wire right here. It's uh, it's got red and black, so that indicates positive and negative, but our wires colors are not going to coordinate, so to say, with uh, the wires in there. And they're actually not even going to be the same colors as these, but that's besides the point. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to send back a run of that, and I'm going to use some blue wire for the brakes. And get that on its way to the back of the trailer. All right, so now that we got our three wires to the back of the trailer on the driver's side, we need to get that blue wire out of this hole right there. Now, the reason I didn't just pull it to that hole to begin with is because, well, it's easier to pull it backwards out of that hole than to try and fish the tape all the way to the front to get it there. We can always take the excess wire and pull it back to the front. That's not a problem. Now, while we're pulling that blue wire to the middle, now that's the brake control wire, I'm also going to take another color wire right there and pull it through so that way we can have power for our little marker lights on the front over there. So, let's go ahead and pull those through. Now that we have all of our wires ran on the driver's side, it's time to repeat that process on the passenger side. Once you get all of your wires ran in their 
respective locations. It is now time to start installing lights. I should also add that I forgot to say it on the other side, but your lights can all be grounded to the frame, but your brakes need to have a ground wire that runs all the way up front to the junction box. So I went ahead on the, on the driver's side over there, ran one as well, along with over here. So we have our blue for the brake, our green, that's gonna go up to our running lights, and the orange is gonna be our ground for the brakes. So let's go ahead, throw on the back lights, and start hooking this stuff up so we can see what this thing looks like. I got a little surprise in store for that. Make sure you stay tuned to check that out. Here we go. All right, once your lights are installed, you can go ahead and start to hook them up. Now, I'm gonna explain this one and then I'm gonna go ahead and hook the rest of them up. That way this video doesn't get to be too long because watching me hook up a bunch of lights gets repetitive. Anyways, so the way these wires are laid out here is your white is your ground, your brown is your running lights, and the green on this side, yellow on the other, is your turn signal and your brake. So you want to hook those up accordingly. Now the way we have this set up is these green wires are my running light wires for my, my little lights. These are my little um, running lights that I'm going to install. Uh, red faces backwards and amber goes to the side. So we're going to hook these green wires up to the running lights which on this specific light this is the uh the right turn signal we're going to hook it up to the brown and then we're going to pick a wire out of our two pack here that runs all the way up to the junction box and hook that up to it as well and then the opposite wire uh, example here so the black wire in this two pack we're going to use as our turn signal so that'll go to the green. The red wire in this two pack will be our running lights. So that'll go to the brown. And then the green, or uh, excuse me, the white is the ground. So we will go ahead and ground that to the, uh, the frame of the trailer. Now remember, you can use the frame of the trailer to ground your lights, but your brakes have to be hooked up directly to the junction box. So I will cut back in once it's time to wire in the brakes. And that does it for the lights. If you're building a trailer, don't put so many lights in because that took a while. But everything is wired up and all the wires are covered in split loom makes it look nice and purdy protects the wires etc so all that's left to do is wire up the brakes and the junction box up front so let's go ahead and do the brakes so in the back of your brake drum here, you're going to have two wires. One's a positive and one is a negative. And that is up to you to decide which one is which. It does not matter. So I'm going to go ahead and put my heat shrink on. And... You're ready to solder these wires together. Really does not get much easier than that for hooking up.
brakes. But you got to remember, the ground has to run to the junction box. You cannot ground it to the frame like you do with the lights. Now I'm going to go ahead and cover this in split loom and I will meet you up front at the junction box to get that wired up. All right, so here we are at the junction box. I'm gonna try my best to reach around this camera and hook everything up. Now, referring to a little guide here, it shows how everything gets hooked up. Um, your colors may be a little different depending on which kit you get. So make sure you follow those instructions. But on this one, I'm going to start at the furthest post, which is the ground. Now, we only have a couple grounds in this mess to hook up to that. So we're going to get those separated. And if you remember, we got the orange that goes to the brakes on both sides. That's a ground. And then I have the ground that goes to the frame. And then I got two more blacks that come off the frame. Or, sorry, that come off those marker lights. So right there is all excess for the moment. So right there is my mess of grounds. Let's go ahead and hook these up to that post. Next is the black one. That is your 12 volt constant to the trailer. So we're not using that on this one. Um, what this is good for is say you have an enclosed trailer and you got lights on the inside that you want to run off of the truck while it's running, you would hook it up to this. Or you can put a like a deep cycle battery inside there and hook the deep cycle battery directly to this post and that'll charge while your truck is running. So that's kind of a neat thing, but unneeded on this one. Uh, the yellow is for reverse lights, which this trailer is not going to have reverse lights. So... We're not going to use that one. You could put like some LED light pods or something on the back. And that's what that would hook up to. So when you put your vehicle in reverse, sends power to that, lights up the back. The next one is the red one. Red one is for the left turn signal. So what we need to hook up to that is I got... These, uh, these coated wires, or these banded wires, I guess you could call them. You want to hook up the turn signal, which in my case is going to be the black wire out of this bundle. The red wire in both bundles is the running lights. I did uh, kind of red for running and black for uh, the turn signals. So... Red is left turn signal, and the green are the running lights. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up this black wire from the left side to that post. we got the green and the brown now hooked up. The brown is your right turn signal and brake light, and the green is for the running lights. Now all that's left is to hook up this brake control right there and all that's left is to put the cap back on and then go test it out hook it up to a truck and see if it all works so let's do that
it's pretty dark outside. This would be perfect to test the lights. We got perfect truck here to do it. Tells you if everything wired correctly, any burnt out lights, anything like that, it'll tell you. But just having the running lights on, it's working. Heck yes, that is sweet. This is awesome. This turned out freaking sweet. Look at the fenders there. Even got the logo on the back. Let's go check and see if the blinkers work. I'm pretty sure they will because both lights get brighter when you hit the unlock button. Let's check out Let's check it out to be sure. Kind of frosty, but I was reading uh, trailer brakes hooked up. This has got the trailer brake controller built in. You can hear them humming back there. Let's check the blinkers. Well, you hook it up to make a left turn and NASCAR. All right, let's check out the right one. And there she be, blinking away, making a right turn. Sweet. Let's bring it back inside. Well, that's it. That's really how easy it is to wire up a boat trailer, even one with brakes. So, if, uh, if you want to see what's going to sit on this, feel free to follow along. It would be much appreciated. Your views help me do stuff like this. That's all you need to do, just views. That simple. So if this trailer is any indication of how cool the boat is going to be that sits on this. You know what to do. So, as always, thanks for watching JDS Outdoors. Look forward to seeing you on the next one. That's going to do it for the boat trailer for now. We still need bunks and the winch post. We're going to wait and do that once the boat is ready to sit on it. So, custom trailer, custom bunks. Need the boat in order to make it custom. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. And now the trailer is tucked away for the winter, awaiting its new boat to sit on it. Which, by the way, the jet pump is on its way. <laughs>